be followed with three three-minute rounds under amateur mixed martial arts rules in the welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, tonight making his in-cage debut, representing Hawks MMA, ladies and gentlemen, Jay Hawkins. His opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, also making his in-cage debut, representing Bromai MMA, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Pablo Piano! Well, we'll wait action here. Jake Hawkins from Hawks MMA fighting out the blue corner. And he's first in Pavlo Pivovarov from Promi MMA out of the red corner. Pavlo looking to land early but gets caught with the turning back kick. He's got to watch out for that left hook. He's leaving his chin really high up in the air. And that's why he decided to initiate that clinch. He got tagged a few there coming in. Yeah, good work from Pavlo after getting tagged. It's easy to just get caught sort of a rabbit in the headlights there, but he's forced the clinch here. Gives him a little bit of time to think. Hawkins looking for that uppercut and the separation. Good work there. A bit of dirty boxing action from Hawkins. Oh! Big one-two from Pavlo. Hawkins getting a little overconfident, I think, maybe there. Had some good early success. Hawkins got the double unders here. He needs to make them work to his advantage. Hawkins looking to separate again. To see if he can deter Pavlo from coming in with those big heavy strikes and start thinking about hammering that lead leg. Overhand rights, beautiful stuff on cue. Pavlo taking center cage here. He's able to dominate with his striking ability. He's got very good power. Does a great job of driving forward and changing angles when his partner. Oh, that leg kick looked like it made Hawkins stumble back there. Hawkins staying a little straighter at the moment. I think that's he's given Pavlo some problems. He's got a nice jab from Hawkins here. Beautiful low kick. He's finding a home for that left hand regularly. In the guillotine again, difficult to see from our vantage point. That looks quite tight, Dean. Pavlo's got that under the chin there. Again, the arm in, so he needs to think about clockwork in that arm to, to make that very tight. So he's going to bring his right wrist up round to the left side of his body. And that's why you see Hawkins, he's driving his right shoulder downward to alleviate pressure off the neck and from that right arm that's trapped there. Arm in guillotine in that position. Hawkins did a great job of defending the neck here. You can see from the camera angle, he's got his arm trapped underneath the elbow. He's trying to lever his, his head out of that position. And will this serve to burn Pavlo's arms out here if Hawkins is able to get in this position? Yeah, I can't see Pavlo getting the, the finish from where it is right now, but stranger things have happened. <laughs> But as you say, I mean, that all the time it's a bit like a computer game, you know, that energy bar is just going down and down and you're, you're expending a lot of adrenaline as it is, especially if you, I believe, yeah, Pavlo's making his debut as well, both these guys are. Um, this can leave you severely gassed, if indeed he is squeezing. I mean, you can hold it there, Dean, with a, you know, be more of a hold. Um, but chances are he's, it's difficult from our vantage point to see his face, but I'm sure he's putting a bit of effort into this and, it's a very hard position to hold on to. Yeah, I mean, the referee, Dan Movahidi, he asked them to, to keep working, and almost certainly they still are, but, I mean, he's not going to get the finish here in the last dying seconds of this round. Body shots there from Hawkins. But that was a valiant attempt there from Pavlo. Pavlo, he, he saw an opportunity, and he jumped all over it. It was just the defense of Hawkins, able to drive his weight in a downward kind of TP motion, defend the neck and turn his chin in, and stop the choke there from being very tight and forcing the tap, but good defensive work by Hawkins. Yeah, I think there was a bit of confusion there with the uh, the timekeeper. I don't think the horn sounded, but it was the end of the round. Um, as you say, I mean, we go back to it as well. From a scoring point of view now, Hawkins had some good success with, with punches early on. And then, you know, you've got a guy that spends a minute or so, I'm guessing how long the, the guillotine was at the end. It's very, very difficult to score that because although he... He didn't look like tapping for me. And I mean, as you know, Dean, if a choke's on, you're going to be unconscious. There's no toughing out a choke, you know? 
Um, so it's difficult to give it that much credence. It was more of just holding on to Hawkins than really threatening with the sub. But likewise, from the referee's position, listen, you can't split them up. You've got to let that play out. Round two. Nice inside leg kick. Pavlo again working the hands. He's trying to set up these shots up to the head. He's going to strike down low and make Hawkins think low and then go up to, up to the head with those powerful combinations. Close the distance. He needs to funnel that right arm underneath to gain that underhook. He wants double underhooks here on Hawkins up against the cage. Better control for the takedown. Yeah, it's an interesting clash of styles on the... Uh on the feet. I'd, I'd say Hawkins looks the more relaxed striker, but um, Pavlo has some good success with these low kicks. And Hawkins is breathing quite heavy here. His mouth is open. Um, he needs to be careful about eating those shots here. So, yeah. I mean, that could have been the energy expenditure of defending in that guillotine position in the first round. What you can't do is stand up tall, Dean, and back up in a straight line like that. You know, you're your, your chin's in the air and you're backing up in a straight line. You're just a guy like Pavlo who's thrown these almost wild hooks as you're going backwards. One of them clips you, it can be good night. Um, so I think Hawkins, when he's attacking, he, he's keeping his fundamentals. It's just when he's on the back foot that he's uh, becoming a little bit scrappy. But as you say, a lot of energy ex expended from these two and uh, both breathing quite heavy now. And this is, we're seeing the tactic here up against the Ks. They're almost leaning on each other. More so Pavlo, and they're trying to make each other work whilst they regain their oxygen debt here in this position so they can explode forward and then look for the KO or indeed advance their position. Big knees here. That one just missed the mark from Hawkins. Beautiful low kick from Hawkins. Wilkins now with some nice head movement. That's what he's got to work here. After he throws those punches, and as you alluded to, he doesn't want to lean back. He wants to keep that head nice and far forward, become at one with being hit, and move, and you won't get hit. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to take the shots anyway, you may as well, you know, stay in the pocket, head movement, lateral movement. Um, but going back in a straight line like that is, is very dangerous. But, you know, these guys, as we mentioned, both, both making the debut, and there's going to be uh, lessons to learn, win or lose from both of them, I think, here. Um, but Hawkins certainly looks better on the front foot than on the back foot at the moment. And I think it's a great point then as well. I think Pavlo here, this tactic of making this a bit of a clinch fight and, and pressing his man up against the cage. Oh, some nice shots from Pavlo there. And that's what he wants. He wants to rest. He's got to be careful of the guillotine here, but he wants to rest, regain some of that power and explosiveness, and then look for those punches. Look for the takedown here, but he's got to be, be careful when he ga does gain the takedown to pass to the opposite side of the choking arm. Otherwise, the guillotine's there. Again, difficult against the cage, but he needs to make sure he addresses that. Pavlo now, again, using the tactic of utilizing his forward pressure and making Hawkins work and defend towards the end of that round. Close round. Again, close round. Um, you know, I want to keep mentioning it's tough to score from the commentary position, but that one, I, I can tell that one is... Uh, was another close one and Hawkins like you said I'd just like to see him tighten up a bit once he does his own work because he's landed some beautiful straight shots but then now and again he's getting countered moving backwards it's kind of cancelling out his work especially on the uh, on the judges scorecards and, and grappling wise um, Pivarov is it's kind of positionally starting to dominate a little bit against the fence. Although saying that, Hawkins also answering with some nice knees on the inside. I mean, it's it's a close fight, and it's still anyone's for the uh, taken, Dean, I think, here. It's, uh, again, a, a good piece of matchmaking, you know. These two are really testing each other out. Both look very tired. It's a very good debut for both of them. Exciting third round coming your way. Welterweight action, Fight Star 14. Stay tuned. We're getting ready for the third round coming right up. Round three. Let's see if this spurs Hawkins to get after it here, to set these punches up, move off that center line. Beautiful right hand straight down the pipe. And I love the way he moves off straight away. Resets. Yeah, I wonder if his corner said something, because as you said, he landed that shot and then straight away, lateral movement. Beautiful left hook from Hawkins. 
is exactly what we need from Hawkins. Hawkins prescribed by his corner. He's got to stay out of these positions. It gives up the mount here. Wow. And Pablo in a very dominant position. He's going to look to rise up and rain down these punches. Some positions so important in a three minute round and Pablo taking his time here. Good work from him, just trying to stay heavy on top, not going crazy with the strikes. Doesn't want to get bucked off early. Doing well there, Dean, just controlling the hips of Hawkins below him. Getting a bit busier now. Hawkins has got a buck here. Every time that Pavlo rises up to throw a punch or even indeed secure a submission, he's to buck his hips like he was on fire and force the hands downward to the mat of Pavlo. If the hands are on the mat, they're not punching you in the face and almost certainly not cinching up an arm for a submission and he needs to start thinking about blocking one side. If you imagine a table with four legs, if you cut two of those legs off, the table's gonna fall over. So what he needs to do is block one arm and one leg on the same side and then buck to that side, but he's getting punched here. He's moving the head quite nice, almost like he's slipping on the floor there, Dave. Yeah, he's slipping and uh, the, the problem I think from now, Dean, is these are all 20, 30% bridges. You know, like you'll, you'll hear the, the great grapplers, you Marcelo Garcia's, that's, have 100% bridge ready, you know, because at the moment, he, he's, their gestures, he's very, very tired, but they're not enough to get his opponent off him at the moment. Um, they're just disrupting the the, uh, the punches. It's easy to say from a commentary position, but um, yeah, it really needs to, as you say, secure one of these arms and buck to one side, because at the moment, just these little bridges, they're not enough to get Pavlo off him. This is working to Pablo's advantage here. He's raining down these punches. A few of them landed very heavy shots from the top. And Pablo forcing Hawkins to work further and making him even more tired in these positions. But these punches are getting through. Yeah, Hawkins at some point was punching from the bottom then, a sort of cardinal sin, if you must, in, uh, in these kind of positions. And it, it just means that maybe he's run out, out a bit of ideas here. And, Dam over here, he's seen enough. And to be honest with you, I think that's very good refereeing at this level. You know, once you start seeing a guy punching from the bottom in mount, and uh, we'd seen, I mentioned those mini bridges earlier, we'd seen that many of them that it's, is the position gonna change? Does this guy need to get any more punishment? You know, good refereeing for me at this level. Ladies and gentlemen, at a time of two minutes, 32 seconds of the third round, Yoana by TKO. Corner, hello, Piero! Unless you're here for his opponent, give it up for Jake Hawkins!